Hey guys, today I'm going to be starting the video with me tasting the tea of the day. Also, we're washing sheets. I got up super duper late today. I don't know why in the world Jeff let me sleep so long, but he did because he was up. He could have woke me up, but he didn't. But anyway, I did wake up several times, but I didn't get up. So, I didn't get up. Maybe I needed to sleep. So today is turkey tail astragalus. I think I've been saying it wrong. I think I've been saying astrologus. It's astragalus. Astragalus? I don't know. Do I already smell it? I don't know. Anyways, it says toasted maple on there. Made with organic herbs. But I want to go ahead and get it going. And then I'm going to read you the stuff. Um, because why not? But I'm going to go ahead and get it in the... Plus, I've got my kettle on and I don't have it on keep warm. And it, it just finished. It smells like maple syrup. That's what it smells like. So, I already know because... Oh, there it is right there. Mushroom adaptogen blend. I already know that it's another fungus. Because... I started looking up turkey tail. I didn't look it up completely. I just put it in my phone so I could be prepared for you guys. But the um, thing of the day says spread joy today. Donate to the local to a local food pantry. We do that, so I'm not gonna do it today, but we do that. But anyways, this is the turkey tail astragalus. Restore harmony with nutritious turkey tail mushrooms and Asia's strengthening astragalus roots accented by toasted maple over roasted chicory lightly sweetened with dates. It's got carob, chicory, chicory root, barley, astragalus. It's been a while since we had one with barley in it. Astragalus is astragalus propeniquis. Propeniquis? I don't know how you say that. 600 milligrams. Dates, turkey tail extract, trimix, versicolor, fruiting body, and mycelium blend, 300 milligrams. That is the actual technical thing of that. Natural flavors and figs. So, that's the turkey tail. Now, y'all might be asking me, why do you want to try another one of these teas with the mushrooms in it? This thing is getting so thin because all the teas are gone almost. We only have six more teas after today. I believe that's right. Or is it seven? How many more? I don't know. No, it's got to be less than seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six more teas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we don't try it on Christmas Day. So, this is what the turkey tail mushroom benefits. This is absolutely... The adaptogenic property has, let me start that over. It has adaptogenic properties. It supports the immune system. It supports a healthy inflammation response, protects DNA from damage, supports gut health, supports liver health, and improves athletic performance, may support blood sugar balance. And there's more. Oh, now it's not even showing all of it because I went to the website. This is what it looks like. It does not look disgusting. It's not growing on another species. Well, it is. It's growing on a tree. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and read this. Oh no, it's got that other one in there. Decades of medical research studies are confirming with tr the tremendous health boosting potential of certain mushrooms. These functional mushrooms as they are known, have been used by traditional medicine practitioners since the late 300 BCE, no, 3000 BCE, to address a variety of health concerns. Turkey tail mushrooms benefits for health are well documented in historical and modern scientific literature. This article will explore why the turkey tail mushroom seems to be in league of its own, in a league of its own with other functional mushrooms such as reishi, lion's mane, and cordyceps. Cordyceps are the ones we don't want to do again. I mean, it didn't taste bad, but it was just ugh, gross because I knew where it came from. Sometimes it's good not to know where something comes from. 
But um, functional mushrooms, as they are known in the wellness community, are edible mushrooms that contain a wide variety of bioactive compounds. Each type of functional mushroom has its own unique bioactive profile and capacity for supporting particular bodily systems. In the case of turkey tail mushrooms, it has a unique ability to strengthen the action of immune system among other benefits. So this one does not seem gross. It's just a turkey. And the reason why it got its name is because it looks like a turkey's tail, which is kind of cute. It's not, it's got a glare. There we go. See, it kind of looks like a turkey's tail. That's a tom there. So that's where it got its name. But it's got lots of health benefits. I read some of them. And the astragalus, I'm going to look that up. Astragalus propeniquis. It's a word that's long. Now, this one I may not want to look up. I don't know. Oh, it's a pretty flowers on it. Maybe it'll be all right. Okay, it's a type of flowering plant. The root has been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicine. Astragalus is considered an adaptogen. Adaptogens are a class of natural substances that are believed to stimulate the body's resistance to physical, environmental, and emotional stressors. The chemicals in astragalus also seem to stimulate the immune system and reduce swelling. Well, that's good. Um, people commonly use astragalus for hay fever, diabetes, kidney disease, and many other condi conditions. There are no scientific, good scientific evidence to support these uses. So, oh, there are many species of astragalus. Some species contain a nerve toxin and have been linked to livestock poisonings. These include Astragalus lentiginus, Astragalus malicismus, I don't know how to say it, and others. But these species usually aren't found in dietary supplements. That's not the one this is. We read what it was. Um, reduces the side effects. This is possibly, this is possibility of possibly effective for reducing side effects of chemotherapy. Early research suggests that giving astragalus intravenously or using Chinese herbal mixtures containing astragalus might reduce nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and bone marrow suppression, a decrease in the cells that provide immunity that is associated with chemotherapy treatments. Early research suggests that astragalus given intravenously or taken by mouth in a combination product might help control blood sugar and insulin levels in people with type to diabetes so it's good for diabetics it's good for people with taking chemo is what it says it can be taken by mouth or applied to the skin in different ways it's got like i guess they make lotions there isn't enough reliable information to know if astragalus is safe and what the side effects might be with pregnancy and breastfeeding so i don't know about that autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis lupus Rheumatoid arthritis and other immune system conditions. Astragalus might make the immune system more active. This could worsen the symptoms of autoimmune disease. Avoid these astragalus if you have any of these conditions. So, that might not be good. But anyways, I'm going to try it. It's probably been long enough now. I've been running my mouth. So, let me grab a spoon. Also, did not do the dishes last night because since Jeff cooked on the grill, we didn't have many dishes. And um, so I don't have to eat me that. But today, I'm washing the sheets. Noah said he doesn't want his washed, which is fine with me. I mean, I like to wash every week, but he's a grown man. If he doesn't want his done, he doesn't have to have them done. I wouldn't want to sleep on them, but. That's just me. All right, and I've got to fill all the things. That's my main two things, is washing the sheets and filling up the stuff. We don't know what we're having for dinner tonight because what we were supposed to have for dinner, we didn't take out and I didn't get up in time. So we gotta figure that out. 
I smell something else in it. It smells like an herb or something. Well, it does have herbs in it, but it smells like a, a peppery smell. I don't know. So, let's try it. taste the maple it kind of tastes like coffee with maple syrup in it like right now that's what it tastes like and I just used this for my coffee earlier so I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. I know it's okay, so I'm not sniffing it is my point. <laughs> That's me. I gotta sniff it every time almost. Alright, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna need any sweetener, so I'm gonna put my spoon in here. Still haven't done the kitchen and I think I'm just gonna let it go and do it next week I mean some people don't do that but like once a month I'm trying to figure out if I do some things too much and other things not enough I'm really wondering because like the October thing got me thinking about a lot of stuff and then I got slacking in November and of course this month my back hurts so and this morning, or this, this let's be honest, uh, this afternoon when I got out of bed, late this afternoon, like really late, um, which I haven't been sleeping well, y'all know that, and I guess I slept today. I don't know how many hours I got, I can find out. But anyways, it's got me thinking about, I wonder if, I got eight hours of sleep, y'all. Eight hours and 14 minutes. Said I slept from 5.16 a.m. to 2.38 p.m. I went to bed before 5.16. But my sleep score was an 82. I was awake at some point for a while. I was awake a lot of times. I was awake an hour and eight minutes of the time I was in bed, it says. Anyways, I don't know. These things are not accurate, but it's kind of... So maybe I got more than eight hours of sleep. So let's try it with half and half. I got off the subject. And I don't even know what subject I'm on. It tastes like coffee with maple syrup in it. I mean, I taste something else, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem like a bad one though. I wouldn't mind having these mushrooms because they don't grow on bugs. And some of you said I was more of a woman than you were. Or a bigger woman than you were because they wouldn't have even tried it. The other one. And um, some of you were like, no, I wouldn't have even done it. <laughs> no way. But it wasn't terrible. It's just the thought of where it comes from is what's gross. And I just keep wondering who in the world decided, oh, well, this is a parasite growing on this here bug, killing this critter. Let me go ahead and eat that. Let me just do that. So, I don't know. It's weird. But, anyway. Um, this one's pretty good. I like this one. What, did I, what was it named? Something astragalus. Turkey tail. Turkey tail astragalus. That one's pretty good. I'd have, to have that one again. But, um, yeah, I'm doing, I don't, I'm trying to reevaluate things that I do for like cleaning. And I still have never gotten to those bookshelves. Never have. But I need help with those. Like, I don't know if I do the moving everything in the kitchen too much. But then again, it's not hard to do. So I don't think it's too much. But I'm not doing it this week. 
and for me normally my week starts on Sunday that's the first day of the week that's my, my how my brain thinks but I guess my cleaning schedule kind of starts on Monday and ends on Sunday I don't know it doesn't matter that's the way my planners are but I've got to fill all the things which there's not much to fill I gotta fill up the toilet paper none of this stuff needs done my coffee pods toilet paper I think that's all but I will see well my medicine um, and my vitamins but I think that's all I have to do today it's draining all right I'll be back whenever everything's not so loud maybe when everything is white glimmering silver white and stillness fills the night it's christmas a winter wonderland a snowball in each hand take me away christmas day there's joy Families near, we give thanks for Okay, I wasn't gonna talk during this, but um, these are supposed to be the same. Can you tell the difference? This one's darker. I wonder if it's because it's older and been exposed to air. They're the exact same thing though, but I'm just gonna put the old ones in here with these and just use them first. At least I know what they look like. But yeah, I don't know. Weird. Maybe now I can put these in there and get rid of this. Back to the original programming. slow cooker cowboy stew it's a craft recipe and so I will link that down below we have never had this before Jeff was just going through my recipe binder and there's some recipes in there that we have never tried so we decided to try it well we decided that we wanted to try it and we started looking at it and everything and we got kind of a little bit you know like oh this sounds good and then we noticed that it's a slow cooker cowboy stew we don't have time for that. So we're gonna put it in the Instant Pot and we're gonna just experiment with the experiment. We don't know if we like it and we don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna eat it either way. Um, what you need is, and I'm not gonna tell you the exact recipe. I will link it down below though. Boneless, 
stewing beef, flour, chili powder, it does not say what kind of flour, so we're using all purpose, carrots, onion, celery, frozen corn, kidney beans, it does not specify what kind of kidney beans, and we don't have any red ones, so we're going to use the white kidney beans, which are also called cannellini beans. Um, thick and chunky salsa, we don't have any of that open, so we're just going to use what we have, which is black bean and corn salsa. A cup of water, oh, I told you that, which well, doesn't matter. Water, barbecue sauce, and then to top it, we're going to have cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, which will, that'll be later. So, I'm gonna get this started, but first I gotta make the cat be quiet. Okay, so Jeff took care of the cat, and um, I have my Instant Pot on saute because first you have to brown your beef. You're not cooking it all the way through, you're just browning it in batches, it says. So I'm gonna put some in here, and I think I probably should add oil, I don't know. I'm not going to, I guess. Maybe I should, maybe I should. I think I should. I'm going to do it. That will unstick, I hope. If not, I'll have a mess. Jeff, some of these are not cut all the way through. He cut the beef up, but some of them are still attached. Oh, well, they'll be fine. We're just going to deal with it. And hopefully this is going to work. If not, we're just going to have a big pot of mess. I think it'll work though. I think that if the beef doesn't stick, it'll be fine. But I will, um, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called, but whenever you get all the stuff off the bottom, um, what is that called, Jeff? Do you know? No, that's a, not a roux. Whenever you get the stuff from being stuck on the bottom, deglaze. I'll deglaze the pan before I go with anything else. And I'll probably grab my, either one of my little silicone spatulas or a wooden spoon to do that. But anyways, I'm going to let this cook a little bit on this side and then I'm going to do the other and then I'm, I'm going to flip it around some. And then I'm going to finish up all the beef. Y'all really can't see in there very well. Let me see if I can adjust a little bit more. Oh, I've got the tripod. No, I don't. thought I had it. Oh, that's too much. We don't want y'all getting steamed up. But, yeah. Anyway, first step is brown your beef. So, I'm going to do that. And then I'll come back once it's all browned. And um, share the rest of the steps it's really it seems like it's gonna be really easy I just don't know what the right thing to be would to put it on for instant pot instead of slow cook so I'm just gonna use the bean chili setting for it instead of slow cooking it which you can slow cook in an instant pot because it does have that setting. These things have all kinds of things, all kinds of settings. But anyway, um, these two that are not cut all the way, I may cut them after I take them out of the pot. But anyway, I'm gonna brown the meat. I'll be back. I'm just talking. Okay, so I'm going to deglaze this. I've got, maybe that's enough. If it's not, I'll get some more. Um, I've got, what am I saying? I've got it off. I don't have it on. That may not be enough. But I'm going to try to get these little bits up. So that um, it doesn't get the burn warning. And I don't know why I said I was going to put it on the bean chili setting. I meant the meat stew setting. Because it's a stew. Put a little bit more water in there. Oh, it might be too cold now. I'm going to turn it back on saute for a second. Just to get... I want to just get that up. Actually, let me get my wooden spoon thing. What's that? I got them all. Can you fix those, please? This is not the right one, but whatever. It don't matter. All right. I'm going to get this and just get all those little bits up. 
because we don't want the burn notice. The burn sting, whatever it's called. Yeah, because it stops it from cooking. And I don't think that it actually seals properly when that happens. I'm not sure. I don't know what it does, but I know that it does not cook and it starts screaming at you. And we don't want that. We want our food to cook. I turned the saute back off again. All right. I think we got all that, mostly all of it out. I'm not seeing any more. Wait, yes I am. It's hard for me to see on this side whenever I'm looking down because it's so tall. With my little Instant Pot, it's not hard to see. I can still see inside really easily all the way around. Not with this one. All right, so it says to, what it says to do is while you are, like you're supposed to be doing this in two different utensils. You're supposed to use an, a skillet to brown your meat and then put it straight into the crock pot or slow cooker. Well, of course, I'm not doing that. So I put mine, my meat, straight onto a plate. And I'm going to then put it back in here. I think I got it all. All right. Will you take that? So now I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm not going to turn it on or anything like that. I'm going to start building all the stuff. So I'm putting the meat back. And get all the juices and stuff out of there off the plate because we need that for flavor and then it says to add the flour and chili powder and Jeff put it in a bowl for me so I could have it all at, I mean it's all going in at the same time so it doesn't matter but it says to do that and stir it around well there went that noise Right, get that stirred around. All right, now I'm gonna add all the rest of the things except the cheese. So I'm gonna add my onion, my carrots, celery, the kidney beans, the water and corn, <laughs> it's a corn, <laughs> it's a ball. It was frozen corn because that's what it called for. It is now separated some. Okay, it's fine. Barbecue sauce, which one thing, that, that's one of the things that threw me a little bit, but I'm the one that found the recipe. And um, will you give me the little blue spatula? I found the recipe and asked them did they want to try it months ago. I don't remember when I found it, but I found it on the website. Or maybe Kraft sent me an email with it in it. I don't remember. One or the other. And um, I asked them did they want to try it, but we never tried it. For whatever reason, we forgot about it, I guess. All right, now I'm putting in the salsa and I'm gonna have just a tiny bit more than what it says because I'm just gonna use what was left in this jar which is only I'm probably using an ounce or so more than what it says I don't think that's gonna be a big deal and I'm not using just chunky salsa either Oh, I got it on the side. I'm making a mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir this all together because it says stir it all together and then cover and 
cook, which it says cook to six to, for six to eight hours. But, like I said, I'm doing the Instant Pot thing. So, it's not gonna have to cook that long. And I've got the kettle on to make some tea for supper. All right, I think that's mixed up well enough. You wanna come smell it, Jeffrey? It smells like barbecue sauce. It does not smell like anything else. Let me make sure I got everything in there. All right, I got the meat. Yeah, it smells good. I got the meat, the flour, the chili powder, the carrots, onion, celery, corn, kidney beans, salsa, water, barbecue sauce. Yes, everything's in there. So I'm just gonna put my lid on and I'm gonna put it on. I can never get this thing to do right. And I'm gonna just do the meat stew setting. That cooks for 35 minutes. I think that'll work. So we're gonna let it cook and I'll be back when it's done. I actually know I'm gonna go full close. So y'all will see that before this is done. I'm walking around feeling free. Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now Don't know where Don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide but falling in love and I'm um, gonna see how it looks. That doesn't look like stew to me. Let's see, can y'all see in there? Yeah, y'all can see kinda. It looks more like a soup than a stew. It's a little bit, you know, more liquidy than I thought the stew would be. But, 
possibly that happened because it was not cooked in a crock pot it was cooked in an instant pot but we're gonna taste it or we're gonna we're gonna eat supper and then I will tell you what we thought about it it looks good it smells like I don't know I don't know what it smells like like I smell the barbecue sauce and it seems to me like with salsa in it it would have some kind of other smell like I mean other like I don't know salsa's just got a lot going on in it but it looks good that looks really good so we're gonna try this here meal and we'll let y'all know it says to either serve it with cornbread or crusty bread and I asked them do they want some cornbread because I didn't have time to make any crusty bread and I don't have any in the freezer or anything but they said no they wanted crackers so we're doing crackers it looks like some of these got a little bit like some of the beans got a little or it could be because that's black okay there's black beans in it too because of the black bean salsa but anyway we're gonna try it and I'll let you know what we think it looks like it might be thickening up as it stands here so yeah but they wanted crackers see that did get a little bit dark it looks like if I can flip it over and show y'all see but it's not burnt it just I was afraid of a burn notice but there wasn't one so I'll be back yeah I also forgot to tell you that whenever you serve this you serve it with shredded cheddar cheese on it so we gotta shred some cheese so that's the thing it said it actually called for craft shredded triple cheese with a touch of Philadelphia but we're not doing that y'all know that but yeah I forgot to say that okay so I'm gonna fill up the cleaners and I don't have much of this left it's peppermint I'm going to put it in here, whatever's left, and then after it's gone, we'll start a new one. But that's that one. For whatever reason, there was a little bit left on that. There's not, I mean, this is plenty for the week or whatever, but it didn't fill it up. That's all right, because I'm just going to try to use this up. Because I don't have any more peppermint? I don't think I do. If I have more peppermint, I will grab it but I don't think I do. I try to make it. I know it doesn't matter, but I wanted to see it like that because I'm weird. But anyway, there's that. And, oh my goodness, what? No, there we go. I'm gonna fill this one up. Hopefully we'll be done with this one, which we still have some more of this um, in the in my stockpile this scent that I don't like I'm just trying to use it up and I don't use it as much because it doesn't smell as good as the peppermint or something like that but whatever mess I make I'll just clean the counter with because it's gonna spill out it's fine I'm just gonna let it spill all right so there's that. Oh, that's not the right one. This came with this, but and it's one of the ones that I really like. But it stopped working like it should. But it seems to be working okay now. I'll put it back on there and see if it will, <laughs> if it will work right. I don't know what it was doing. Can't remember now. It's been so long. But I will. That's done. Throw that away. Get on. Clean up the mess a little. Now I'm gonna do the soap, the dish soap, not hand soap. The bubble. And what I'm gonna do with this is just kind of let it just sit there till it drains all out. And I'll just let it sit here on the counter. Jeff already filled up the sugar. There. And, um, 
So that's done. I mean, that's not going to be completely full, but it's plenty for the week. I don't think there's any more cleaners. Well, no, there's no more cleaners to fill up. Oh, and uh, hold on. Let me put this in the garbage and I'll be right back. Okay, so I can't think of any more cleaners that I need to do. Um, Jeff did the sugar. Noah put toilet paper in the bathroom. And if he needed it in his bathroom, he does that too. I can't think of anything else that needs filling. I did my vitamins. The coffee. Yes. Jeff's been drinking coffee like he drank two of these today. That's not normal for him. He doesn't drink much coffee. So yeah, let's go to the table and we'll chat and do coffee. Okay, so I think I got my head chopped up. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up the coffee pods and like last time, which y'all may not remember or you may be new. Seems like I got some new people lately and I'm glad you're here. Um, anyways, um, my favorite kind of coffee is, oh no, I can't reach it. Move my chair. This is my favorite. It's the Community Coffee American Blend. I think it's American Classic. Yeah, American American Classic. That is my favorite kind of coffee. Not saying that I don't like other kinds. Not saying that I'm a coffee snob exactly, but I am a little bit of a coffee snob. I'll close it up because I don't need it all. I don't need it right now. But I had bought some of the Cafe Bustello from Darlene's. It was on sale there. I mean, it was like a dollar for a little brick of it, like a pound. So I got some of it, but it is super strong. And I like it okay, but I don't want a lot of it. So what I did is I have my favorite in this one, and then I have the Cafe Bustello in this one. And what I'm gonna do, what I started doing last time, is I've been putting a little bit of that in with my favorite so that I can get rid of that because it's just too strong I don't know if it's maybe like an espresso or something it is ground a lot smaller and that's what I'm thinking that it's an espresso but I'm just mixing it and making my coffee pods and it works out. I know that it's gonna take me a little while to have all of this one gone, but that's all right too. It's not like I'm trying to rush through it. If I was trying to rush through it, I would have, well, I wouldn't have opened both of them, which Noah likes it, but like I said, it is super strong. But all I'm doing is filling up my coffee pods, these right here, um, I get, well, I got, I don't, I haven't had to buy any more, but I got these from Amazon. It's not focusing very well, but I got these from Amazon. I think that I have them linked in my Amazon store. The store is not my store. It's not me selling things. It's just where that I put things that I bought from Amazon that I like. That's what it's for. And some things that I didn't buy from Amazon, but are on the Amazon, I think I put in there because different people have asked about them and it was the only place I could find a link. But anyway, I purchased them and I, it's something I would recommend. But if you ever buy these little pods, make sure you get the correct ones for your Keurig because I accidentally bought some, or I didn't accidentally buy them. I bought them on purpose, but I didn't realize they were the wrong size. I bought some that were too big for my machine. So make sure you check your machine. But all I do is just put it in there. Then I've got a little glass jar that I put them in. And I have, usually it's 14, but we've got a couple of dirty ones that need to be washed. So um, I just fill up all that I have of these little K-Cups um, refills. 
and whenever I'm done filling them up I have it for the however long it lasts sometimes they last two weeks it, it's just according if it's just me drinking it or if Jeff and Noah have some too if it's just me it lasts about two weeks 14 days I think I've got 14 of them and I usually drink one a day but if I decide to have more than one that's what they last less anyway I got plenty for a little bit but I want to tell y'all about the cowboy stew that was good we had a very little bit left how many uh, helpings of it did you get Jeff two and a half how many did Noah get he got two and I had like a small bowl it was so good I recommend trying it for sure it kind of was like chili but not it had that Jeff said it tasted like a chili he's tried before but I don't know it wasn't mine he said I don't know where he tried it because he's eaten things other places but it was really good so and what we've decided to do is a recipe that we try if it's one that I printed off or whatever or I write down we're gonna put like either well if it's got one star we're not gonna keep it most likely if it's got less than three we're not gonna keep it but if it's like oh I really want this again Noah actually said actually said that he wanted to have it again next week which we've already made the menu plan so that's not going to happen unless we change something we don't want to eat it so much that we you know get tired of it but um that was really good it was real good and um definitely going to be making that again and it worked really well in the instant pot and it did thicken up a little bit after it sat for a few minutes it did thick a little, thicken up a little bit plus the cheese made it a little bit thicker too but we ate it with crackers and I would definitely if you like tomatoey stews and soups go ahead and make some because it does have a lot of tomato in it um, so that means it's gonna have a lot of acid in it I'm sure so you gotta be careful with that I don't know how many of these I have left not a lot but I got some gotta mix up some more I had mixed up the whole bowl before but the stew was good after I get done with this I think I will have all the things refilled Jeff do I have anything else I need to refill that you can think of he's watching a movie or no he's watching a hunting thing on YouTube he's looking at his Chromebook Jeffrey Hello? What? <laughs> Can you think of anything else that I need to refill? Oh. No? Okay. <laughs> His belly's full, so that's all that matters. I'm not making any snacks. We still have plenty of snacks. But, um, Noah went to the store today, and I got him to pick up something, because there is a snack that we're going to make um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I will make it with you guys whenever I do it. It was, it's a Rice Krispie recipe. I think Rice Krispies came up with it. I don't know. Anyway, it's an older recipe that we're going to try. Do you remember the name of that, Jeff? What? That recipe that I showed you with the Rice Krispies and peanut butter. I don't remember the name of it either. I can't think of it. Anyway, we're going to be doing that sometime, but we're going to eat all these other things first. And I can't remember exactly what Noah said about those cornstarch cookies, but he loves them. He's still eating them. But, um, I got this one done. So that's full. That's good. Also, something else I wanted to talk about is January. We're going to be, um... I'm, I'm going to be doing the eat at home challenge with Tiffany from Large Family Love. And I'm going to be sharing what, you know, what we eat. I always share what, what 
what we eat each day. But I'm going to try to share like all the meals I eat, which I usually only eat about two meals a day. I don't eat three meals a day. And I know that's not good, but all right. I know there's going to be some little bit of this Cafe Bastello in that, but whatever, it's fine. And then the last two, which I usually have like three more, the last two, I'm going to stick in here and I'll use those two first. And then I have my little pig colander. It's actually a colander. It came with holes. Um, I have it ready for putting my um, pods back in. But anyway, she's doing the eat at home challenge again in January and we're going to be doing that. We're going to try not to eat out at all. And I know that there are birthdays in that month, which Selena's not here, so we wouldn't be unless she came home we wouldn't be doing anything but um for my birthday i'm gonna pick something that we can cook here at home which y'all lately almost every single time we go out to eat anywhere it's disappointing it's either way more expensive than what it used to be or it's just terrible it's just really bad so we're gonna save money and I'm going to cook. <laughs> I like to cook anyway. But we're going to do the eat at home challenge. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you all about that just in case you wanted to do it. But what we're going to do is Jeff and I are going to sit down. And we're going to go ahead and make a menu plan hopefully for the whole month. I want to do that. Which we really don't have to do that. But if I either, either we're going to do that or I'm going to go ahead and freezer prep some like breakfast stuff because I think we're almost out of everything. I think we've got a few waffles but like freezer prep some muffins and things like that. We don't usually eat out for breakfast but I need to get better with eating breakfast so we're going to do something. And also a little while back I had bought some berries and stuff and I told y'all I was going to do some freezer muffins that I didn't ever do. I did not throw those berries out. They did not get eaten. They are frozen. <laughs> because I didn't want them to go bad. So I washed them and I put them in the freezer into like one cup containers. But um, I do plan on doing some of that stuff at some point before January. I want to try to do that. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll see. I want to make a day of doing like I even want to go ahead and pre-cook some bacon and maybe freeze it, like flash freeze it or something like that. I've already got sausage patties. I think I still have some, but I don't remember. But this is not a pantry challenge. You can make it a pantry challenge if you choose to, but it's not a pantry challenge. It is an eat at home. In other words, don't go to a restaurant for anything not even a coffee make your coffee at home so i want to participate in that which we don't usually get coffee out like even whenever like normal we don't we don't get coffee anywhere else we always just make it at home because it's disappointing i used to go to starbucks whenever we did the book club but it was never as good as at home but you still buy your same groceries if you want to and all of that you just eat everything at home you don't eat out at all you don't get a drink out you don't nothing you, everything like if you go for a day trip you take your food with you all that kind of stuff uh which we normally if we go somewhere if we're just going to like the grocery stores and run around town and stuff i take my bottle of water with me anyway so i don't we don't usually buy soft drinks from stores and stuff but that's the whole thing is you eat at home. Everything, your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all your drinks, everything. Because you bought the groceries to use, why not use them? Um, we may go ahead and turn that kind of into a low spin challenge as well. I don't know if we're going to yet, but I do want to do a lower spin. Back in October, we did really well with a low spin challenge. And there have been times we did low spin January or no spin January, 
and we gave ourselves like $25 a week for groceries. You can't do that anymore. You can't give yourself $25 for vegetables and stuff and milk because milk is $4 a gallon at the cheapest most of the time. So you can't do the $25, not unless you just don't get fresh fruits and vegetables. And we have some here, which we got some bananas here that need to be. This is the style of banana that Jeff says is perfect. I think it's too far gone. I think that's almost banana bread. This is perfect for banana bread. Banana muffins. But um, we've got very little bit of fruits and vegetables because whenever we did go to the grocery store, we were going to get some more. But $6 for a head of lettuce that was this big was ridiculous. And then um, other things. We've got some apples in the refrigerator. We've got some different fruit, I mean vegetables that are in the refrigerator. We've got some broccoli and different stuff. And we also have vegetables like carrots and onions and different things like that that I have frozen that uh, they either already came frozen, which I don't usually buy onions or carrots like that. But what I'm saying is we've got corn and green beans and stuff like that already frozen. But I want to try to do possibly a low spend along with the eat at home. So we're going to see what happens. I know there's things we're gonna have to buy and we may go ahead and make a list of things like um, sugar and all that stuff and just go ahead and buy all that stuff before January and then starting January 1st we'll keep a track keep track of everything we spend on food um, like we did before and it was very surprising in October but anyway I don't have anything else to load I'm at to yeah well load to fill up I don't have any more clothes to do. We're just gonna make the bed from the, whenever I wash the sheets. The dishes are in the dishwasher, ready to go. There's a few hand wash things that we'll do. I'll do, somebody will do. Um, I guess that's it, but I highly recommend that stew. And we may try it with the slow cooker version too. That's the way it was supposed to be done. But it was so easy in the instant pot. It just took less than, what, how was it less than an hour? What? Was it less than an hour it took us to do that? So? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it was less than an hour to cook a stew that tasted like it had been cooked all day. It was good. But anyway. With all of that being said, if you have any questions about the low spin, not low spin, the um, eat at home challenge, I mean, I don't think there's going to be any questions because you just eat at home. You just don't go anywhere to get anything to eat. You don't buy things at the deli at Walmart or the grocery store. You don't have any fast food, any quick foods. I I'm pretty sure buying a rotisserie chicken to make a meal out of might be okay, which actually now you can probably get a rotisserie chicken cheaper than you can a raw chicken. But it's just eating your meals at home is the thing. It's not going to restaurants, not going to coffee shops or anything like that. I don't know if she has any kind of rules or anything like that, but she puts a video out almost every single day. I think she's taking a little bit of, not a break for December, but she's not doing as many videos for December. I know I've watched every one that she's put out, but um, she's, she explains it because it's her thing. It's, I, don't, I don't know if she started it for sure, but I think she did. Hello, Miss Maggie. I have no food, sweetheart. This is just coffee. It's not good for puppy dogs. But <laughs> she's like, but why? <laughs> but anyway, with all that being said, if you have any questions about the crazy of today, go ahead and leave them down below. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if there's anything I forgot. Because I don't know. Like, I woke up so late that I don't know what's going on really. But I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't, do them anyway because you never know what I might do on my channel or what we might do or what silly faces I might make or the silliness that Jeff might do. Um, most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. 
Let me know how the weather is. Let me know how your day is. If you had a good day, let me know. If you had a bad day, let me know. If something exciting happened, let me know. Um, I like talking to y'all in the comments. And it, it's that's the one reason why I do this is to talk to you guys. And I don't know. I just, I've built friendships through this channel. And it just, it's, I like it. So, anyway, most importantly... Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.